Welcome back. Well, the Funny Bone at Westport Plaza is known to attract some hilarious comedians. Lucky for us, we sometimes get the chance to invite them on the show. Like today, super excited about this. Please welcome comedian and actor Jordan Rock to Great hello, Day. Hello, hello. We're so excited to have you. I'm happy to be here. I'm up. I'm awake. All uh, right. This is earlier happy for Happy Friday. Me. Oh, it is. This is early for me. Yes, this is definitely early. Normal wake up time is? 2 p.m. Oh. I'm, I am nocturnal. You're a night owl. Yeah. Got so it. I'm seeing people who are out. I'm seeing old people for the first time. <laughs> I haven't seen them in a while. I saw some kids today. I was like, this wow. is crazy. Wow. Yeah. I saw. I think I saw a yellow bus. I haven't seen one of those in, in years. Holy moly. Yeah. You're going to see all kinds of stuff this weekend in and around St. Louis that What's you're probably happening? not used to seeing. Oh, I don't I don't know. It's going to be <laughs> hot. Crazy stuff happens when it gets this hot early in the season. Tell me how you got your start in comedy. Uh, I started doing comedy when I was 17. You know when you go to school and by the time you're in high school around 11th grade, they start going, you better figure out a trait. Mm -hmm. You need a job you can do for the rest of your life. And if you messed around in high school, you won't go to the college you want to go to. Oh, and yeah. I was yeah. there and I realized I'm not going to be able to go to the college I want to go to. I need to find a job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why I started doing this. And then it helped that I had brothers, you know, that I could see and, you know, emulate. So yeah. it worked out. Were you always a pretty funny kid? or? Uh, I was funny, but I didn't have enough room to be funny. Like, I always told jokes and people would be like, that's weird. Really? Yeah, because, you know, in high school, kids don't, they don't really care about joke writing. Hmm. They're just like, oh, he's got teeth like a walrus. Oh, what? walrus mouth. <laughs> like, that's how kids are. <laughs> I, I love comedy. I would love to come out and see your show. Now, I know that you do a little bit more than, than comedy, though. You act a little bit, too, right? Yes, I'm an actor. Uh, well, I was lying about acting for a while. You know how comics are always mean? like, you know how comics are always like, well, I'm an com actor-comedian. I was saying that for a while, but I was totally lying about the actor part. But and not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, so how did you make that transition? I just faked it until I made it. There you go. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if you guys saw the show Love on Netflix. I'm did, familiar. Did three it, seasons. It got pretty popular. Yeah. I mean, people were talking about it. It, it was cool. It was Judd Apatow production. It was like my the biggest thing I've done so That's far. That's exciting. What was that like? I mean, if it was your first big thing, right? What's that like? Uh, it was cool. It was cool. They gave me a trailer. I didn't know that I wasn't going to have such a nice trailer ever oh. again in my career. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was cool. It was really a learning experience, and uh, it was just great to work with Judd and the whole cast. That's, that's a big name. That's pretty exciting. You've got some other shows, though, and some stuff coming up. Tell me about that. Yes, I have a movie called Big Time Adolescence coming out in the fall, I believe. They have, I don't really know the date. It's uh, I'm just the friend in it. It stars Pete Davidson, Griffin Gluck. Directed by Jason Orley. Just did Sundance. It was we had a great Sundance. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, tr it trended all over. It's got a good Rotten Tomatoes review so far. So hopefully when it comes out, people like it. What is the comedy crowd like here in St. Louis? Have you you've played St. Louis before? Yes, I have. Okay, yeah. Uh, the, the comedy crowd, like? crowd here is drunk. <laughs> well, it is the home of Budweiser. Yes, you the knew home, that, right? Is yeah. it the home of Budweiser? It's the home of Budweiser. Yeah. I don't drink Budweiser. Well, I'd... it's the home of Budweiser. <laughs> yes. And anything else about the crowd here? Is that is that mainly that's it? Uh, that's yeah, all we get. They were crazy. Like okay. even last night, there was like a, there was a bachelorette party or something. Of I don't course. Know. They weren't even a bachelorette party. Just, they had bachelorette party energy. I'm pretty sure oh. they were just off. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I was telling a joke, and this girl, this woman, she got up and she left, and I was like, "Why are you leaving?" And then called I got out. out. No, I, I did not call oh, her. Oh, why Luckily, I not? did it. Luckily, I didn't because when okay. I got out, everyone was like, "She just spewed throw up all out here." <laughs> So I was like, good thing I didn't tell her. To if stay. you would have stopped and engaged her, that might have happened in the middle of your show. That would not have been good. You know what? That actually might have been the best thing that could have happened. Okay, well, let's tell people where they can see your show. Uh, St. Louis Funny Bone. Uh, come through. Westport. That's yes, where we're Westport at. Westport Plaza. Westport, that's Westport right. Plaza. Come through, you guys. I'm there all weekend. We have five shows left. Uh, spread the word. Tell your friends. Follow me on Instagram at JordanRock843. Uh, I'm the new grumpy cat. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to try to take that uh, handle. I'm going to try to take over that. Really? Instagram. That would be very interesting. I'm going to have to see sale. if that happens. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Jordan. Thanks so much. And thank you. Thank you. Have fun this weekend. I will. All right. And okay. we buried the lead because I didn't want us to. Kid that, that it would be the first question out of the box. But your brother is. Is Chris Rock. Yes. Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Yes. I never heard of him. Well, <laughs> never heard of him ever in my life. I wanted you to be, we want you to be able to stand on your you. own because yeah. you've got a great you. career, but it's it's also very cool that, uh, that you're Chris Rock's brother. So yeah. we really appreciate you being here. Oh, thank, thank you. you guys for having me.